What's going on guys, I'm Benjamin Snow here to talk about a brand new developing story around Hogwarts Legacy. Recently there has been a report about a potential director's cut for Hogwarts Legacy. While details are scarce, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about this topic and discuss what could this potentially mean for the future of Hogwarts Legacy. The information comes from Jason Schreier's new reports on Bloomberg, where he talks about the unfortunate downfall of Suicide Squad, and at the very end of the report he mentioned, many of studio's employees are now helping develop a new director's cut version of Hogwarts Legacy. At the same time, according to people familiar, the studio leaders are looking to pitch a new single-player game which would return Rocksteady to its roots. While this gives us a clear indication that there's more to come for Hogwarts Legacy, the exact nature of this director's cut is still a bit of a mystery. According to the reports, this director's cut is being developed by many of the studio's employees. And the studio is Rocksteady, whose resources are now being repurposed in other Warner Brothers owned companies. What exactly? will be included in this version is still unclear. Paul Tassi over at Forbes noted that we might see new missions, but we probably shouldn't expect major new storylines equivalent to a full-scale DLC. Now, this naturally brings us to a question, what does Director's Cut even mean? As well as what kind of content can we expect from this? To give you a better idea of what Director's Cut might entail, let's look at Ghost of Tsushima. When its director's cut was released in 2021, it included a new island to explore, additional story content, new gameplay mechanics, and various technical improvements. If Hogwarts Legacy follows a similar approach, we could see new areas to explore, additional quests, enhanced graphics, which I think they were already pretty enhanced to me, <laughs> and possibly new gameplay features, which honestly sounds exactly like a DLC. Personally, I see the term director's cut as a new fancy way of calling DLCs. After all, like the Ghost of Tsushima, it wasn't free and it, it gave new areas to explore, new mechanics and added multiplayer. So director's cut or not, we still will be getting more content to Hogwarts Legacy. But now let's talk about the things that we can be seeing in the director's cut. Number one, new map expansion, possibly a new area to explore to either left or right of the main area with possibly new enemies. Two, we could go into the Black Lake, explore its depth is something that we've been asking for a while and uh, I see a way how it can actually happen in, in Hogwarts Legacy. Online battle arenas, you know, we've talked about this, that it would totally make sense to add an online battle arena similar to ones we already have and where we can be able to you know duel other friends or just battle the ai together and adding a competitive element could be a way to test out multiplayer features in general which i think might be the key purpose of this well besides making a ton of extra cash i think the reasons behind this uh director scott is twofold one, to extend the life of the current game and to give more time for the development of the unconfirmed sequel. Since Hogwarts Legacy made over a billion dollars for WB, the execs probably decided to try to extend the current game's life. Additionally, they might use this game as an experiment. You know, there were talks about the future of Hogwarts Legacy going into the life service and multiplayer elements and you know, we all know the feedback. So maybe they decided to test some of these ideas in this director's cut to see if people like it or not. And then this way they can ensure that only well-received elements make it to the sequel. The good part is that if this is all true, and honestly, it seems like it is true, like I'm not even giving you salt to take with this information. I mean, you should probably still, but we can get all those cutout features brought back into the game. During the production of Hogwarts Legacy, there were many features that were cut out from the game, such as the companion system, an elaborate morality system, and certain spells like Aguamenti, Expecto Patronum, and Finfire. By the way, talk about these hidden spells in another video. I'll make sure to put that at the end of this video. But now, since they had plenty of time to work on these things, they might bring back these cutout features into the game. Hence the name, the director's cut. 
you know, since they already worked on these features, they don't necessarily need an entire team uh, to finish them up. They probably have a small dedicated team bolstered by the uh, repurposed people from Rocksteady working on this director's cut, while the main part of the development team continues to work on the sequel. Time-wise, I'm not sure when we can expect this. Um, during the recent live stream, Chandler Woods said that, you know, they are aware about people's desire for a new game plus, which potentially could be also brought in this director's cut. He mentioned that they are taking it into consideration. Also, Andrew and Chandler low-key hinted at, you know, other things that they can't share about just yet, which like the entire body language of Avalanche Software right now is telegraphing to us that there's seemingly something going on behind the curtains, that there's something more to share with, which is surprising to see. Honestly, I thought this summer update was like, this is it. Well, <laughs> but seems like no. Uh, so for those of you who have been saying that, uh, you know, the last update wasn't enough to uh, to get you back replaying, maybe eventually something will come that will. But guys, let me know what would you like to see in this director's cut. Right here is the video that I mentioned before about the spells that are the hidden spells that were cut out from the original game. Since this was ousted, this information, I'm pretty sure we're going to be hearing more about this kind of soon, I believe. I mean, summer will go by fast and there's going to be the Harry Potter season and there's going to be back to Hogwarts Day. So maybe we're going to get some announcements then, but I'll make sure to bring all of that to you. So hit that subscribe button, like button and all the other buttons of that nature. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.